Greetings from Atolia, I am the Lord Bones, and this is The Witcher 3. Now I am basically continuing straight on from the previous thing. We have a new little uh, character entries here from the Bloody Baron. Oh, we've got a new quest for Ciri's room. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff to do. So firstly, what we're going to have to do is go and search the room. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll fly him alive. Here it is. Damn it. Jump Why were you bloody... Okay, you're bashing because it was jammed, okay. So we've got two, but well, we've got two rooms in here. We've got a room over here as well, have we? Yes, we do. What's this room here? Is this, room, is this one of our rooms as well? Okay. I'm not sure, actually. There's a circle on the map here for this room here. It is definitely this room here. Unless it's the bloody Baron's room, or unless it's Ciri's room, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. No, this room here doesn't have anything for me to uh, witch a sense. Let's go across the hall. I'm not. I was trying to figure out why on earth there was two circles on the map. I don't know whether we're going outside or somewhere else later on. So this here is their room. So okay, first Holy straight away. Stick. Stem's broken. Stem is broken indeed, right there. It's also a bit wonky. Oh, that's probably what he means by stem broken, I imagine. Let's have a look with our witcher's sense around this room. So we've got a pot. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Okay, so. Have we got anything to do over here? No? Anything around? Ooh, okay, there's a bit over here. Is that the window? No, it's not a window. It's sort of where the dust is sort of set. a different colour. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. So maybe something's behind this painting. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. Yeah, but you can paint anything, can't you, these days? What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Okay, so obviously someone's had a bit of a ruckus here and tried to hide it. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Can we pick that up? Is that what we do now? Nope, I guess not. So we've got to look for clues. Clues of... Ooh, there's a clue here. What's this clue here? Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Okay. So, something happened. Is there something to observe now? Oh, okay. Way more stuff over here now. There's a little uh, Christmas tree. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. The scent hasn't died, so can we follow... Oh, we can. In a very cool sense. We can follow this scent all the way around here and all the way down here. Oh, look at what we're following now. This amazing little piece of uh, game architecture right here. Down to below Damn, a floorboard. Trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Talisman. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. So go you know, talk to him about the talisman, I guess, or whatever, or the fights. Done poking around. Signs of a fight in the room. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I, I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? 
Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing, not a one of them. Okay, someone spilled wine on the landing. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men air loose. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Know anything about this amulet I just found? Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Okay, so I guess we'll have to see the Pella. I want to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumour has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and ploughs his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. Okie dokie, so now we have Find the Palace Hut in our main quest line, which is Family Matters. So we now have a character entry for the Pala added, and we can go over and, well actually, shall we go over and do that now, or shall we go and start the other quest in this castle, which was in series, not in series footsteps, that's the long one. Let's see, examine this, where exactly Siri was actually staying, which it seems like she was staying in this place around the corner right here. We may as well have a look around, see what we can see. Yeah, okay, we can take a look down here. What's that? Spinning top, Gritka's toy. Yeah, okay. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. That does look like sort of clothes she was wearing, I think. Let's have a look over here. What's this thing? The Natural Obscurity of Curses. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Where'd Siri get this? And, oh, we can stash things in our stash if we so desire. Which I don't think we... Oh, I suppose we can stash, I suppose. This is going to take off a bit of weight, which it is. We can stash our trophies in there. And let's stash this uh, elegant courtier's doublet. And the Nilf Guardian trousers and those trousers, because let's face it, I'm not going to be wearing that stuff ever again, because it doesn't look fit. So go to the kitchen and talk to Greta. Where is Greta? Greta's around here. Oh, we recognise you. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. What else does Siri say? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. What friend? Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend! She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Eh, uh, found those toy in Siri's room. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Okay, do you know where she is, maybe? Maybe we could past the Baron entirely. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast, and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did, but he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Okay, I guess that was a bit pointless. Thanks, Gritka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Read the book. Okay, we need to read this book down here. So we're going to inventory, shall we? Let's go over to where this book would be. Natural Obscurity of Curses. 
to my dear friends Philip and Anne, from the court of your minister of the culture of the king of Timira. Wait, Philip and Anna is the baron, because Philip is his name and Anna's the woman, his wife. Visimir 1265. Whoever thinks Kersey is the only ever manifestation of one being's ill will towards another sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace reports of curses are cast unwittingly on oneself or objects in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases they lead to harm or even death of the person inflicted by the curse or of the people spending time with the object or being and one curse is foul. That is why it's so essential to take preventive measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. It's an absolute minimum Madame Am Amelia Vescution Leon recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be at one with the world and achieving harmony between body and mind. Okay, what does that actually achieve? Mm, dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they have friends in high places in Vizima. Okay, so find the find the witch on your own, or ask the residents of Mid's course to ha ask about her. So we have two lines of uh, stuff now. We can either go hunt for a witch, which is one of the quests, which has now become a secondary quest, has it? Wild at Hearts, yes, it has. That's that's taken up the secondary quest. Or we can go and do the Family Matters one, which is the follow, which is going to find the Palace Hut. We can go hunt for the witch, I suppose. I guess that'll be an interesting one. I'm going to hope that the blacksmith is actually awake right now, so I can get my stuff prepared and sell off my swords, because otherwise I'm going to be a little bit buggeroonied. Where is he? A little bit more on the corner, isn't he? Over here. Is that you? Talk to... How may I assist you? You may assess me by what do you offer? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Okie koki, so we're going to nick some of these because they are very, very needed. We're then going to basically sell anything off here that we don't actually need. So we don't need that. We don't really need that. Wait, do we need that? It gives us a bit more damage that there does. That's required level 5 and gives us way more damage. We're currently level 4. So I might want to keep that one. Let's go to the next one. So a small blackjack is pointless. That's pointless. Pretty darn pointless. Maybe I should upgrade to leave myself as it were. That's what I need to do. And now I need to go over and repair my stuff for me. So repair that for me. Repair... Is there anything else need repairing? Not particularly actually does it, other than that, which has a little bit of damage on it. The rest is pretty much fine, isn't it, the current situation. That does, that does require 45, so it's probably a little bit more damage than I'm thinking it is. I should repair that as well. Because if that goes awry, we're a bit buggeroonied. And we're not even going to be doing much of the other stuff right now. So let's go out of this. Okay. So that's farewell to you. So long. I'll go around the corner. And let's go use the grindstone. Over here. So that way we get a little bit. Uh, more enhanced. And there is a notice board. On the left hand, right hand side here rather. And we're going to go and grab all those. Because maybe some of those have nice quests. So I've got an undiscovered location. I've got the Fists of Fury in Velen, and I have got, what's the other ones here, Gwent, Gwent Velen Players, which is all of the players of Gwent. Now we won't be playing Gwent because that is not something I'd be able to actually do properly. So we've got a new quest, Races Crow's Perch. Okay, and we have a Contract Shrekker. Is that a spell Shrekker? I think it is, or Shrekker. Who cares at this point? You read the words, you know how you would say it. And let's go from there. So let's go find this witch, shall we? I think that's what we'll do for this episode. Especially considering one thing that I can do after all this is go and amend another video on the Aerial Heights channel. Okay, so it's 700 steps away. So I guess whilst we go over there, I guess we should uh, talk a little bit about Siri and the things over there. So, 
And as she said, Uncle Vesemir is the one that taught her a bunch of stuff. Really, it's pretty much all of the witches taught her a bunch of stuff after some things happened in the books. I can't remember what the quest was there. I think the quest there is to um, do something with the statues, I think, or something. Are we, uh, shall, we make, shall we take this one? So it may as well, I suppose, but it's a little bit weird. Are we meant to talk to you for this? Can we talk? Aye. As long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Want to try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Oh, uh, shall we have a race? Uh, sure. Want to sign up? Don't need no signing. As long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Is this going to just switch over today? Rules are simple. Choose who you're going to run against, make your wager, then ride to Blackbow and back. First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. Got it? So, who are you going to race? Stuttering m, -m, -m matko Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? Oh, okay. Stuttering m, -m, -m matko Oh, stuttering. That's a bit mean. Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? Iron Arse Hands. Select better mount 25. See how that iron ass holds up. Come on, hands. Spent half my life on horseback. Other half on the backs of ponies. You can't beat me. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. I might lose this race. I'm not the best when it comes to riding horses, but you know. It's only 500 steps away. Oh, of course it is. Still doing the normal. Come on. Come on, Roach. Get your stamina up. We need to win this race. I'm hoping it's going to be quite an easy thing, though. Oh, okay, we're now in the lead now, at least. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try to see if I can concentrate by looking at the road more than I'm looking at anything else. Damn it! Ah, damn it! I'm not in the lead anymore. I kind of lost then. I lost my way, but then get over there. I'm pretty sure he's in the lead now. I'm pretty sure he's massively in the lead now, and we're now in second. Where I can't actually tell. Okay, there's bandits right there. That's not the best thing to have, really, is it? I thought you said come sunset we'll be doing this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've lost this race. I'm going to just uh, do a little bit of trotting here. Because otherwise my stamina is not going to be high enough. I think I totally messed up by trying by not looking at the map enough early on. Yeah, it's all fine. I don't really care too much. It's only 25 gold I've lost anyway. Wait. I'm following the wrong thing here. Hey there. I'm following the completely the wrong thing. Yes, I am. I'm following the way to a completely different place on the map. Okay, that's probably the reason why. I have no idea where I was even meant to be going. Okay. Well, I guess we're not doing that quest anymore because now I've lost. And we'll go and do this instead. There needs to be a way of telling me where the frick to go on those things. Let's go grab the stuff on this clipboard over here. So we've got another scumbag location and jumped over it because that's apparently what we're doing right now. Find the witch on your own or ask the residents of Mid Corpse about her. Okay, let's go. Just, let's, let's walk a bit slowly around here. Maybe someone will start to hop out to me. Okay. What's over there? So, eavesdrop on gossiping women. That's fine, isn't it? I can just stand here. Path past the pond, follow till you reach the lone rock. Round that and head off the path in the woods, then keep straight. You know, you've gone the right way if you pass an abandoned cart. Okay, we've just found the way to the witch. Oh, bug it. Ah, 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 ah. We're oh, in the rain. Surely the rain will take it off. It did. Okay. We actually need to go and ride over there then, I guess. Come on, Roach. Let's go ride over there. Where is it? Somewhere over here. We're going to be hunting a witch. A witch, a witch, a witch. Ah, okay. So he is actually following the, uh, the signs that the person said. Ooh, okay. What's over here? Get off here. Miss! Cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. 
pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. Now you lot will know. I recognise her if you've ever seen the side missions. This is Kira Matt. The person here is. Search the hut using your witcher senses. So. Oh, there's a weird star type deal on the floor here. A pentagram in chalk. Yes, there is indeed. There's also a bloody uh, trap door down here. Let's open this up. Can we open this up? Can I turn around, you. Open this. Oh, from here, maybe. There we go. Is there a ladder that we can use? Yes, there is. What's down here, then? There's a bunch of stuff we can loot. I guess we may as well loot this stuff. And loot that stuff, and loot that stuff. We've got a manuscript for some more stuff, some Dwarven Spirits, that'd be quite good for making some potions, which I might actually want to make, to be fair. Shall I actually make some potions? Let's go into alchemy a little bit, and let's see if we can actually make a swallow. I already have this item, but I didn't even find any in my actual thing. Inventory. I have two or three. Why aren't it bloody... Oh, okay. Select that slot there, and select that slot there for that stuff. Otherwise, what's the point of me even having these swallows if I'm not going to swallow them? Okie cokey. So she's not down there. Move then, Geralt. Come on. Get going. We can't even do anything with there, can we? Oh, we've got a skull here. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... Oh, okay. That's where she disappeared to. Let's go through here. And we've got a bunch of snow hairs everywhere. And she's conjured up this place to hang out in. I was in. wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. And we got this snow hairs running back and forth here. Pretty uh, cool. Especially in the animation with this game. And we're going to go up here, I think. Greetings, Witcher. Okay, so I think I'm going to need boxes on the screen. I think that's... Yep, definitely going to need some boxes on the screen right now. Where? Hey, Peter. Hope you didn't come to talk. No, to talk. Turn around and wait. And now I can hold off on the boxes. A little bit less left, yes, there. Deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Fultest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. Okay, so what are you doing in Velen? So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world, don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime, pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? 
Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Okay. Like playing the village witch to you, though. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Back to the top again, I guess. Changing the subject. Uh, looking for anywhere from a sorceress to the large. Looking for a certain young woman. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? Siri. I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything, sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Okay, what else did he say? He say anything else about her? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. Okay. My gratitude not enough? My undying gratitude. Good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at. But you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten scoyotel slob either, but an elven mage. Okay, what was his name? He say what his name was. He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. Okay, uh, what was he doing here in Velen? What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. Okay, leave a message for her. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Okie okay, so we're gonna get going, are we then? Can we go then, I guess? Let's go then. Yes, let's. And at the end of the dialogue, does seem to be the end of the dialogue, and it will probably end up being. No, it won't be. We've got a bit more on the quest here. This is the place. Been here before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised, or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. And now will actually be the end of this episode. So I will say to you, click on the links on the screen to other videos that I will highlight. Please click on and subscribe to the channel and to the video. And you'll see on the left hand side a option to go to one of my videos. I do let's plays, review listic type content and other things over there. And I will catch you next time when we go into this cave with Kira Metz. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.